And now we're going to move on to the boring task of bending some 400 LEDs. Don't do this all in one run uh, because your fingers are going to get sore from bending 800 uh, leads. So let's start. So if you take in one of these red green LEDs you'll notice that one uh, side has a long uh, lead and the other side has a slightly shorter one. You'll also notice that there's a flat side here that lines up with the longer lead here on the right. So what you want to do is you want to take that lead and then uh, bend it towards you. And then that was the long lead on the right and now you want to bend the left lead like so. So we have the flat spot here and we have the LED bent like so with the long lead on the right and the short lead on the left. So basically you're going to do that to all of these LEDs. So I'm just going to fast forward through a heck of a lot of this because I'm pretty sure it's boring to watch. So let's go. So once you have all of these LEDs bent, all 400 or so of them, we're going to move on to trimming off the leads. So you want to trim off about a half of an inch, starting from this side. So some around here. And trim off about that much uh, excess material off the end. Don't worry if you, you, know, you get a little shorter like that, that's fine too. If you get down to here, that's way too short, so you want to keep... Uh, Keep between about a quarter inch and about half an inch, and that's a pretty good size to trim off. So again, I'm going to go ahead and trim all these, and I'll do you the favor of fast forwarding through it. Okay, let's start. So now that we have all our LEDs bent and trimmed, we're going to start assembling them into subsections. So for this part, you'll need your uh, little template here. Uh, yours might be a slightly different color, or a completely different color, but in any case, you'll need your template. And basically, we're just going to populate rows of eight with uh, the LEDs. So there's a little trick to this. So what you want to do is have these LEDs point a certain way. I'm going to go ahead and have them point this way to my right. And I'm just going to I'll just plop that first LED in place. Now the second LED you want to uh, kind of wedge in here and then bend the leads and push it down so it's kind of locked by this other LED and it's not going to wobble too much. And then do the same for the next LED. Kind of take your LED, jam it in place, and then uh, bend the leads like this. Pinch the leads a little bit and push down so that the leads are kind of interwoven between all these uh, LEDs. And let's do that for the next one. So there we go. And we want to make a section of eight. We want to make subsections of eight. So once we have our little subsection of eight LEDs, and it kind of looks like this with all the LED uh, pins bent in and pushed in so that the, uh, the LED on the left has uh, its legs pushed in to the LED on the right, kind of like this. So now we are going to go ahead and start to solder all these LEDs together. So you need your solder iron, you need your solder. You want to start soldering from the left and go to the right, so don't start from this side and try to solder this way. You want to start with the side with uh, no uh, pins pointing out, and just start soldering. So the technique is pretty simple. What you need to do is just heat up the, uh, the uh, leads and apply some solder. And just like that, we have an LED soldered. And just do that for the rest of these. So let me try to show this at a slightly different angle. So here's the same procedure from a different angle. 
just heat up the beads and kind of drag your soldering iron along while adding a little bit of solder until you have a whole completed one side. All right, now that's soldered, and we're gonna go ahead and solder the other side here. Right now we've only soldered this side, now it's time to solder this side. You can cheat a little bit and just pull the whole uh, subsection out, and flip it over, and pop it down so you're soldering all on uh, one side. You don't have to chase the LEDs around to solder on the back side. So again, I'm gonna start with the edge LED, the one that doesn't have any uh, pins sticking out. Should we go ahead and start soldering all these together? And here we have a completed subsection of eight LEDs. So you'll notice that they're all soldered together and they're ready to go. Make sure you make sections of eight. Uh, not anything smaller, not anything larger. You need eight LEDs in one uh, subsection. So you want to make 48 of these. So again, I'll do another uh, time-lapse type thing and show you how I'm going to make all the other ones. So now that all these LED subsections have been assembled, we're going to go ahead and move on to testing each and every single one of these to make sure that they work. So to do that, you'll need your little LED tester module, and you want to have the switch flip to the position that does not turn on the LED when you short these two leads out. See, like this. So now we have power being applied to these two leads. So what you want to do is you want to take the red alligator clip and clip it on to uh, one of these two uh, pins that we have soldered. So we're going to go ahead and clip that on there. And we're going to take the black alligator clip and run alongside the, the uh, long pins, the ones that we have not touched, the center pins. And as you run along, you should see each LED light up. So right now we've just tested the green um, component of these LEDs. These LEDs are bicolor, they have a red and a green LED inside each uh, LED. So what you want to do is first test the green ones, which work fine, and then flip the clip to the other side, you want to test the other side, which should be the red ones. And again, everything works just fine. So what you want to do is really just test each and every single one of these subsections to make sure that no LEDs flipped and you know the solder is good so you don't have to come back to this later and uh, fix it because uh, it's kind of a pain in the rear to do. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. So every once in a while you find an LED that's been reversed. So you'll see that uh, this side is green, this side is green, everything on this side is green when we connect the uh, red alligator clip here and we run the black alligator clip through here. Notice that this LED is red. So the reason behind that is because this LED is rotated 180 degrees. So what we need to do is take this LED out rotate it and put it back. Obviously uh, if you take it out and rotate it the leads will be bent the other way which is why you probably just want to stick a spare LED in here and use that. Which is what I'll do right now. So the best way to desolder these is to just take your soldering iron with a long tip and just kind of heat across both uh, sections of solder. And now we have this uh, subsection repaired. So let's run our test. Make sure everything's good. So also every once in a while you'll get a section that only works part way. So nothing, 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 and these LEDs work. So the reason behind that is that uh, one of these connections is not soldered properly. 
So, let's see. So this LED works, but the next one doesn't. So there must be a problem between these two LEDs. And if we look closely, I don't know if I could show this on camera, but take my word for it that there's a little break right there that needs to be soldered, which is what I'll do right now. And now all the LEDs work.